Hey, Chef Andre here. Today, we're making some guacamole. Simple to make, and it's gonna come out perfect every time. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Starting off with four Haas avocados. We're gonna slice them in half and take the pit out. When you're slicing them in half, see right there, right below the little stem thing. And then you run the knife all the way around, and then give it a quick twist and it exposes the seed perfectly, just like that. Now, make sure you watch your fingers, tuck them all the way behind, and then you take the edge of the knife and jam it right into the seed. And then you give it a quick twist, you give it a, the knife enough force so that the seed is stuck in the knife and you can pull it right out. Now we're taking a regular tablespoon, run it around the edge to get the avocado meat out, and while you're doing this, if you see any bad spots, you just scoop them out and throw it out right there. Now you're gonna finish that with the rest of the avocados. Now when you're scooping them out, make sure you watch for that little edge of the stem. That's why we cut it in the way that we did. If not, you have these little rocks inside your guacamole that nobody likes. Now we've got two small serrano peppers, or you could do about one mild jalapeno. Slice it very thin, and then add a quick chop through it. Then we're gonna add this to our guacamole mix. Now we've got a half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one tablespoon of dried chopped onions. I prefer the dried chopped onions. It takes kind of the, uh, the harshness out of the onion, leaves a great flavor. And we're gonna juice a lime. Now, I like to cut the lime in half, juice half of it, and as we make the guacamole at the end of it, we might need to add the other half of it if it looks dry or if it needs more flavor. Uh, sometimes you just have a dry lime, so that's why we're just gonna add half of it and mix it all up, see how it goes. Because if it's too wet and soupy, it's not gonna be good guacamole. Salt and pepper. Use at least a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Most guacamole that I have is under seasoned. That's kind of the trick to make it great. Now I have a pie cutter here, pie crust cutter. Uh, I like these to just incorporate everything. You can also use a regular potato masher. If you don't have that, you can use a wooden spoon. Mash it all up, incorporate everything real nice, and then let's put it into a dish and garnish it. Now you can see how the guacamole sets up real nice. It's not loose, it's not soupy, tastes great. I like to garnish it with a little bit of cilantro, put that lime on the side, and it's good to go. I love to serve these with those grain-free Siete chips, and these are delicious. Thanks again for watching, and let's make Skinny Tasty.